Okay. Hi, everybody. It's Nancy and Leah, and we just wanted to show you guys if you are locked down in the house and you cannot find hand sanitizer anywhere, we have a really easy way of making your own. We've made some already today. Yeah. So I'll show you guys how to do it. So these little um, containers or jars you can pick up from Target. They're in the travel section. They have some of the other ones, which are the small, like this kind, like they're the flip top kind. Um, but it's really easy. All you need is the strongest alcohol you can find. 99% would be best. We have 91%, which I actually stole out of my craft stash, <laughs> my alcohol marker stash. Then you need aloe gel. If you can't find aloe gel, I picked this up from Ulta. It's called Cucumber Moisture Gel. It's gel to cream moisturizer, but it has um, cucumber, algae, aloe. All this does is thickens up the sanitizer so you're not spraying straight alcohol on your hands. Yeah. And it gives you a little bit of moisture so that the alcohol doesn't dry your skin out. And optional, if you can, if you have plain aloe, is you can add glycerin which is also going to help moisturize your skin. I don't need the glycerin in this because this is already moisturizing enough. Um, you don't need to add too much glycerin. It just, again, just helps to keep everything soft. So all you're going to do is I like to start with the lotion and you wanna just squirt some of that in there. I know you guys, it's a little difficult to see, but you wanna do about equal parts of the aloe and the alcohol, okay? So you want to do about 50-50. Now, and then if you, again, if you're using regular aloe, which you can find, it's sold out everywhere right now as long as well as alcohol. Then you're going to add a little bit of, just a tiny bit of glycerin. You don't really need too much glycerin. And then all you're going to do is shake it up. And then after a few minutes of shaking, you'll find that the gel kind of, incorporates with the alcohol and you can decide how thick or thin you want it it is going to smell like alcohol but the alcohol smell evaporates pretty quickly and I really like this moisture gel because it leaves your hands really quite soft so you don't have this dry but you can already hear that it's not as liquidy so what's happening now is the alcohol is mixing with that and it's becoming more of a gel like substance. So um, at this point, you know, if you wanted to do more, you could do more. But we just wanted to give you guys that quick little recipe on making your own hand sanitizer. So be safe, everyone, and keep on crafting. And if you get bored, watch our YouTube videos and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Bye bye.